For the past 10 years, I've scoured the Southern California swap meet, searching for retro and classic video games, systems, accessories, and memorabilia. The most exciting part of this hobby for me is the search. And now with the aid of a pair of surveillance videotaping sunglasses, you can now come along with me every month as I search these swap meets for video gaming treasures. Hear what I hear and see what I see as I negotiate with the vendors looking for the best gaming deals. You never know what we're going to find. So everybody, it's SoCal Mike, the Big Game Hunter here. Uh, you guys saw the uh, what I found uh, in today's episode a little bit, but I know I was kind of quick and there was a, some big lots of things. So we're going to go over uh, each of the things that we found today and kind of talk about what we paid for them, uh, starting with the uh, N64 system and games that we picked up for uh, $45. Let's check this out. So um, this came with some pretty decent games here. We got... Uh, Warzone. This isn't uh, not a great game there, but we got Mario Kart 64, 1080 snowboarding, uh, another uh, wrestling game. No biggies there. Uh, Snowboard Kids 2 and Snowboard Kids uh, the 1, the first one. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, Rogue Squadron. Here's the first Snowboard Kids here. Let's see what else we got. Uh, Mario 64, uh, we got, uh, looks like some uh, N64 controllers, the uh, thumb uh, joystick is still working, that's always a good sign, that, that one I think is, uh, is baked right there, that one's baked, um, another uh, controller here, uh, that one seems like it's okay, Picked up the system too, you know. Uh, here's another game, uh, Pokemon Stadium. Uh, picked up one of the uh, Rumble packs here, and then uh, one of the uh, N64 transfer packs. That's pretty cool. And then uh, we picked up uh, a complete system with uh, everything we need to uh, get playing it. Looks like it's really super clean too. Um, looks like it also may have the, uh, expansion pack in there as well. So that's pretty cool. Picked up all that for 45 bucks. Um, next thing we got was uh, a bunch of, uh, black box, uh, original PlayStation games. Do you guys remember when the PlayStation first came out, how slow to the market they were with new games? I mean, it took forever for new games to come out. My buddy and I used to go down to Babbage's. Uh, at the Oakview Mall in Omaha, Nebraska, like every week trying to see if they've got new games for the PlayStation. And of course, they never did. It just took forever. They strung that out forever. Um, they'd have the same games in there for a month, it seemed. And then finally, they'd get one or two new games in. So let's see what uh, big box PS1 games we picked up today. Uh, picked up uh, Ballerina Tashinden. Of course, this was one of the uh, launch titles. This was uh, an incredible fighting game when it first came out. Uh, we picked up uh, Road Rash. And, of course, all of these, I believe, were complete with the uh, instruction books. Uh, Extreme Pinball. Complete. Uh, Rayman. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Nice. Look at that. I think it doesn't look like it's ever been played. Unbelievable. Uh Need for Speed. I loved this game when it first came out, guys. I was I, I just thought the graphics on this uh, were so unbelievable at the time. Pretty awesome there. We picked these up, I think, for $45 for all of them. Um, lots more here. Uh, Brain Dead 13, uh, starring Fritz. This, is, this was a game that I had never played. Uh, looks like it's got uh, both game discs and the instruction books in it. Pretty cool. Picked up uh, Crazy Ivan. It's like uh, a mech game. Of course, this was another one that uh, I never played back then. And uh, Kalik, the DNA Imperative. This was one that was like one of the launch titles, too. I remember uh, thinking, God, are they ever going to get other games besides that? There's more. Uh, picked up uh, Skeleton Warriors. Now, this was actually a really cool uh, game. 
Um, it almost looked like claymation. I mean, the uh, graphics in this, I always thought, were very, very cool. Uh, picked up uh, assault rigs. Just double checking these because I kind of picked them up kind of fast when I got them. And check this out, guys. Viewpoint. Great, great shooter, man. I'm so excited to uh, pick this one up. I used to have this one back in the day. Pretty cool. And uh, one of the best games for the original PlayStation, Destruction Derby. Guys, this game was so freaking cool when it came out. I can't tell you how awesome it was. Um, my buddies and I just played this game to death. Uh, the second one came out, but I don't think it was ever near as good as, uh, as the original uh, one. Uh, Psygnosis was such a great uh, publisher and developer uh, for uh, the PlayStation. They had some unbelievable games. Um, unbelievable game. So anyway, that was a great pickup there. Pick those all up for 45 bucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let 12 of those. So that's pretty cool. Um, also picked up, really excited about this, R-Type 3. I've never played this game. Um, you know, Super R-Type uh, I have played. It's much more common, actually. Uh, but I don't think it's anywhere near as good as R-Type 3. I just remember watching some YouTube videos and stuff on it. Also picked up uh, Samurai Showdown. I picked those up for $5 a piece. Um, and then last but not least, we picked up uh, a really nice uh, Atari system here. I kind of cleaned it all up, but it's the uh, all-black version. They call it the Darth Vader version. Um, AC adapter, uh, jiggle-free uh, paddles. You know how rare these are. Usually I find them, they got rattles going on and whatnot. One joystick. Um, picked up uh, this with it, a box Star Raiders with the uh, pad controller and the uh, cartridge. And then uh, also came just with... Three games, Combat, Space Worm, Pac-Man. These actually came with their boxes, but the boxes were shit. So uh, they got thrown away, unfortunately. Um, so anyway, that was what we found uh, today uh, at the swap meets. Pretty decent day, I think.